God damn it, it has to be a part two. I'm so mad. It's fine. My phone's about to die. Oh, shit. Should I, should I just keep going until my phone dies? Wait, no, I gotta keep my phone. I wanna listen to music on my way home. I like listening to the rain, though. It's very therapeutic. You know, my friend's girlfriend was right. It is magic walking in the rain. Even if my hair looks a little messy, it looks good. All right? You like that rain look? Let me try to fix it a little bit. Uh, check out my dark circle eyes. I look sick. You okay, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm like a grown pipsqueak. I look kind of funky, but I'm still attractive. Just, uh, yeah. I was about to say something, but I should, I won't. Maybe people will figure it out in the comments and they'll be like, oh, and then everyone just silently knows but doesn't say anything. She's just like, he doesn't want to hear that. Or like, obviously people who hate you use that against you. It's like, bro, bro, you got a small dick. It's like, shut up. <laughs> Unwarranted, bro. It's like, I'll fuck a thousand bitches. I'm only fucking one, okay? And then more, keep them going. I don't care. But my girlfriend is very protective, so you're gonna have to go through her. <laughs> I'm cheating with consent, of course. That's why I'm always talking about threesomes and shit. It's like, I wanna try one. <laughs> but I'm scared about it, but once I'm actually in, I'll probably love it. Yeah, help me. <laughs> help me love shit. Like, vaping and smoking weed. God damn it. It's awesome. <laughs> it's good. I don't know. It's weird. Like, am I doing damage to myself? Truly doing this? I don't know. I just feel invincible sometimes. And I survive the greatest horrors, but no one will ever know what I went through because I can't explain it. Just, it's something that makes me me. Uh, you know, I don't know, I obsess over a lot of things, things me, things outside of me, things involving me outside of me, like, I am the main character of my own story, even if I don't succeed, it's my life, you can't see it through anyone's eyes, except with imitation of it, but never the actual feeling of, like, watching yourself live a boring life. And actors play different people. And, like, the only time they play themselves is where you see their demons and everything. They want to express to you what they go through. Even if people think it's stupid, it brings them a profound form of unhappiness and being uncontent with their life. Like, you have it all, yeah, but... I don't want it, you know? Where it's just like, famous guy becomes popular town guy. He just, he just goes back to normal life. It's like, you don't see a lot of prologues at the end of a hero's story, right? No, because it's traumatizing. Like, Steven Universe Future, whatever you say about it. Yeah, he has PTSD and shit. And he's scared, and he feels so alone. Does that have any fault of the gems? Yes, but they got better later on. They were raising... He was raising them just as much as he was raising Steven. Just as... Hold on. <clears throat> I'm finishing this thought. He was raising them just as much as he was raising... He... God! He was raising them just as much as they were raising him. There we go. I'm gonna try to say it fast now. He was raising them more than they were raising him. There we go. Why am I pointing to myself? Eh, I'm Steven Universe. I'm... I don't know. I love Steven Universe. I don't know. I like some autistic. 
I just like it. Pretty colors. Cool enough lore. I obsessed over it as a kid. Same with FNAF, so. Yeah. FNAF kid. Do the entire story. Still do. So, um. William Afton and his co associate. I'm not good with names. But there are two guys that open a pizzeria called Fred Bear's Diner. And that's where Five Nights at Freddy's 4 take uh, five. Five Nights at Freddy's 5 takes place inside of not 80, uh, 78? Bite of 80, 70, 79? I don't know. It wasn't the Bite of 87. It was something else. It was 1983, I think. Where um, Afton's son was bitten and killed the crying child, you know, and, um, uh, Matt, um, uh, what's his name? William Afton? No. Michael Afton? Michael Afton was the brother that was, that killed his brother because he would tease them about, ooh, being scared of the animatronic. So he's just like, oh, go give Freddy, go give Freddy a kiss. And he does, and just fucking bites him and kills him. And... Yeah, I feel like Five Nights at Freddy's 4, Five Nights at Freddy's, is it 4? Five is sister location, sorry, 4, I was right the first time, 4, where I think it's just Michael Afton having a nightmare, having to deal with the animatronics that killed his brother by his own hands, pretty much. So yeah, Michael Afton is guilty about his brother's passing because of him. And so, um, Michael Afton kills five children. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh yeah, Fred Bear's Diner. Then it goes to Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, Freddy's Pizzeria. And, uh... Obviously, it's been a while after, so Michael is an adult now, and where am I going? Michael Afton... <laughs> Just walking. So Michael Afton is, um, now working at all the pizzerias, because Michael knows that William did those killings. And also his brother, even though it's by his hand, William Afton made Fred Bear. I said Fred earlier, my bad. Uh, and so, yeah, Five Nights Freddy's 1, Five Nights Freddy's 2, and then it comes Where is it? I remember it's them saying Five Nights Freddy's 3. It's like 2020. But like, it didn't happen a few years later from. Uh, Freddy's Pizzeria 2, or whatever it's called. Freddy and Friends Pizzeria, some bullshit like that? I don't know. I'm lost. I'm lost. Where am I going? God damn it. Hi. Enjoying the rain? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. To be like, can't you tell? That's a way to flirt, but I stop myself. Whew, I got self-control, baby. Because I'm, I'm naturally very flirty. Not even meaning it. Like I said, I'm just a charming fella. I got the charm on me. <laughs> So, yeah. My friends are probably worried about me. 
Oh, wait, I'm not done with the FNAF lore yet. Okay, so Final Phase 2, and then later in the future, Final Fantasy Phase 3 happens. Mike Left is working there. The animatronics aren't real, except for Springtrap, who's in the back of the pizzeria. I mean, the Frideria. Or a Fright Fest, or whatever it's called. I'm surprised I'm remembering all of this from the video. I, yeah, see? I'm, I pretty much got the entire lore, except for the full names and stuff. That takes serious research, obviously. You can't remember every single fucking detail about everything else unless you write it down. It's impossible. Even if you can in some areas, in some areas you just can't. So think of it like that. Ah, I'm lost. I think. No, wait, no, I'm not. My legs are just taking me places. I feel like I'm not even moving them anymore, but I'm getting a lot of walking in, so. Yeah, my calves are huge, I'm sure. Hi. Yeah, people here are mostly friendly. I only hear about atrocities committed. Not that uh, usually, you know? Wow, the wind picked up. Why don't... I can hear the wind. I can only hear... Oh, that's fucking cool. I have never experienced that before. Alright, I gotta come back. I, ga I gotta go back. It's this way, I swear. If it's not, I'm lying. If I'm not lying, this is not time for close of life right now. Fucking crazy right now on camera. Man, I'm skinny. I mean, like, I'm annoyed by it, but I'll deal with it. I can get both one day. Um, I don't know where I'm going. I feel like a tornado's about to fucking spawn. Jesus. Finding my way back. I'm not asking for help. Okay. My phone came back. I don't care. I'm getting. I'm getting back to that house. <sighs> Just gotta memorize. Quiet. is like the Star Wars trilogy where what you thought was the first was actually probably the second or the first first like before the first was actually the first like stuff like that plot lines of retcon and stuff you know we obviously knew there was like ghostly elements but there's like spiritual uh elements that's how spring trap is immortal so now it just sounds goofy and stupid but it's interesting <laughs> so you keep it's like Man, I wish it was. I, I remember. I miss. What the fuck just happened? I, it's just like it was like I miss the old FNAF, you know, where it was actually scary. Yeah, its concept was horrifying. It's fucking choking gameplay. It's like I'm not even scared of this game. People get scared until they torture themselves to keep playing it, and they just get mad. <laughs> like, think about it like this: you're killed the first time, it's horrifying, but then you come back. And you just keep being killed over and over. You get bored eventually. You're like, I die, I die, please. <laughs> please kill me. It's just... Repetition, no matter what it is, drives us insane. So we find the little solace in life. And luckily, I found the best kind. I guess God is looking out for me. I guess there is a god. I'm in, I'm in. Think about this song recently that I heard. I was watching this movie called 88 Bong Infinity or something. 888 Bong Infinity. Just the most. The most. Like, weirdest movie I've ever fucking seen, though. Where'd I go? Wait, okay, so. I don't know these road signs, dude. I have been here before, though. 
that's a certain. See, that's gonna sister location happen. And it's actually Samantha. She's in um, baby. Circus baby. <laughs> That's gonna be my joke throughout this entire section. We're going down this road. Wait, I think I see the house. I will I will be back. <laughs> this is just gonna be most of the vlog of me just like walking. Hey, I'm talking, I'm entertaining you, right? Don't click off that video just yet. <laughs> I was getting tired of looking at this this handsome thing. <laughs> Is it handsome? Uh, it's a 4K camera, so I probably look disgusting. Or maybe I body dysmorphia. I have no idea. Either way. I'm, I, I mean, it's like I deal with it. <laughs> As I said earlier. Mm, man. I am gonna, like, hate, but love the shit out of this video. <laughs> My girlfriend saw the video and she's like, I'm falling more in love with you. <laughs> it's a good video. Watch it. It's called Hijinx. It got copyright strike dating, but I'm too lazy to re-upload it, so I'm gonna just stay there forever until the end of time. Or, uh, yeah. You can't delete anything from right off the internet. What if it's like, what if the internet is taken off the internet? <laughs> I can't get those files back. It's like I have hard drives and things. I don't know what I do, but I can't help them. Okay. Does this look familiar? I don't know. It's funny how I said that I don't want two parts, but this is the second part. I just always accidentally hit on record. Like, either my phone dies, or on the off chance I actually get a perfect video, the thing I wanted. But then at the end, I'm like, I could have done this instead. <laughs> like, I could have mixed this better and stuff, you know. We just constantly, artists like us, we're just constantly criticizing. We need more reassurance. And we do. They're worried about me. <laughs> like, I'm completely fine. I have walked for miles once. Alright? I'm fine. In the dark. At like 2 or 3 in the morning. On a road with like no cars or anything. No skin markers came for us. We were just listening to music. My friend was scared shitless and high. I was high and chilling. <laughs> Whatever, right? I'm just more comfortable being outside than inside a house. I don't know why. Like, I'm outside, I'm completely fine, but I'm in a building, I'm just like... Oh my god. Oh, I guess it's... I guess it's that thing where, like, like transitioning into a new space. You know? You're just, like, going... Somewhere. 
something distracting me, but I don't know what it was. Just for the comment, it's so technology, whatever that is, because it was. That's what my fucking middle school teacher said to me once. Uh, he was such a goofy character. I hated him how he tried to be more goofy than me. And we were like rivals on who can make the class laugh more. And it was a never ending battle until finally we see each other at the grocery store where somebody's like, Hey, you doing fam? I'd say, Doing good. Because all things considered, I'm flying house, food under my roof. I should probably eat that if it's under my roof. Head under my roof. I got it all, bro. Wait. The star. I see the fucking star. I see it. They probably thought I got murdered or something. No, I'm just I'm just vlogging. I'd be like this fucking idiot. Just fucking idiot. Just fucking dumbass. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care. No, it's not. And my girlfriend's calling me. Ah, oh, everyone's calling me. Stop calling me. I will be home. I will be home soon. Soon. Relax. Okay. 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 Oh, man. I think of my life as a music video. Makes it cooler. <laughs> Makes the lamest shit dope. Because I'm imagining a cool edit over Dude. Someone should make me edit their music video, dude. I would try so hard to make it look fucking dope. Yo, I could give you exactly what you want, bro. Dude, don't even trip. Dude, that could be my gig. I can make music videos for people. Dude, oh my god. I could start with that. I could produce music videos. But like later, when I, I like, what I mean is by produce music videos is edit them. I wanna be an editor of a music video. Pay me for that. Dude, I could be with like Travis Scott, cause I thought of some cool ass fucking edits and shit I can do for him and stuff. And like, then he can hire other stuff to like take my original idea and make it come to life. And we can make some absolute fire heat, bro. Like anybody, I will edit a music video for you. I will edit and make you a dope ass music video. I will try my fucking best. If it's not good, make me do it again. Make me do it again until it reaches your fucking expectations. Wait a minute. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. Hold on. Don't listen to me. Where am I going? <clears throat> Whatever, I'm going this way. I just did a mad dance instead of a mad dash. Oh man, that sounds crazy. Pretty dope though. Wait, I found it. Oh my fucking god. I found it. Oh my god. I found something that is. Actually, something I memorize because I rarely leave anywhere. <laughs> Bit of a shut in, but I'm down to chill. I want to chill. Like, call me and we'll hang out whenever the fuck you want, dude. Except in certain cases. Like, I know you have work and stuff, but like, bro, like. Let's hang. <laughs> but I know we'll hang out anyway, so. Just gotta be patient. Some are more days than others. Some days we fucking party. Party to a purple. Wait, this is the cross. It is. No. Yes. What was that there? Oh no. No, no, this is it. Is it? Oh my god. <sighs> Losing my mind out here. <sighs> is this it? Hey. Wait, I don't know if this is it or not. It is. This is it. She's in a hurry. Jesus. Goddamn. Better be important. Goddamn. She on a mission. Get him, Karen. She looked like a Karen. Ah, Karens are hilarious to me. I, I literally can't get mad at them. I might seem like I'm mad at them, but then I just start laughing at how mad I get about them and how mad they made me. How stupid they are and stuff. You know, I just good at deconstructing 
all of existence. It's ridiculous. I... Yeah, knowledge is a curse. It, it really is. I could be a philosopher. But I, I need more proper motivation. Like, kind of got to make me do it. Got to keep the energy going, man. Maybe I will hire some producers. We can work together and they can bring me something that I want. But I can still keep my own brand on it. Who knows, we can make some absolute fire. Hey, that's why collabs are so exciting. Because it's like a mixture of both rappers' styles. That's what it is. Uh, I think I threw the football assist or something. Oh, man. A small town is confusing. You feel so big, yet you're so small. My move calls have been achieved. How? I burned 300 calories just walking. That's funny. Wow. I just realized I walked more than I did in my entire, like, work shift. It takes me a full eight hours of, like, constant work in order to break my move goal. That's fucking hilarious. Oh my god. That guy's being recorded so I can remember and probably tell people about it. <laughs> That's funny. Hey. Bro, not his head at me. Oh, dude, those like motorcycle, bicyclist guys being pissed. It's so fucking funny, dude. Are we surrendering? Or is it reluctant compliance? Because it's better than what we had before, right? That's why people stay friends even though they don't feel like friends. But a friend to you is someone that is like you. You guys are in sync, you're best friends. You don't want to lose each other. It's like when someone like that ends their own life, it's gonna, it's gonna affect you. Like, I wasn't sad when my grandma died. I wasn't. Because I didn't know her enough. I didn't know a thing about her, and my mom never really told me much stories or anything about her. So, and when I did see her, she seemed manipulative and abusive. But I feel like I should be sad. My mom went insane when she when she passed. Now she's awesome again. And I feel like I took her for granted all these years. And now for adults, I feel like I have less time for her. But like, I will, we will make time. We will make time. I fucking promise. Cause people don't get their flowers while they can still smell them. And I'm gonna do my best to give it to them. Everyone. People, I think, who deserve it, everyone, not everyone. I hate some people. All right, let's go back inside. Uh, and there's an F6 and stuff, you know. They get burned together, all of them. I think Michael traps his. No, wait, no. Um, some other guy that worked at the pizzeria that's trying to get rid of his own woman after, he burned down the pizzeria so it would all end. Oh my god, I forgot about that guy. That's a that's a crucial guy that you never really noticed. It's all about Willie Mapton. And the, the poor children. I don't know why I have such baggy eyes. I'm wide awake. Give me my diet or something. Oh shit, alright, I better go. Alright, bye. It's been real. Like, comment, subscribe, see ya.